Hello. Tail's a mess, isn't it? Always is. Now, I was going to do this for a video at some point, uh, because, you know, the arcade game has always been there. But it is literally just a selection of cards, which, yes, are interesting, but no, are not interesting enough to make a video. Look, Black Rampage. Mmm, dinosaur. Not interesting enough to make a video out of on their own. I like this dinosaur, but can't pronounce its name. I just called it Patchy. So maybe I'll look for some more of these and actually do some research into the arcade game. But today we're looking at something different. And this is very relevant to my childhood because I remember these. Uh, but there's a bit of confusion about the dates because it's really hard to find information. Like legitimately very hard to find information even though they still technically make these. But I have got my hands on... The MicroStars Microdome. And if you grew up in England in the, I'm going to say the early 2000s, and I'll point out why in a minute, you will know uh, MicroStars, these little dudes, or as I used to call them, soccer pods. They came in like um, a sort of a round chocolate egg, similar to Kinder Eggs, and they had a blue caption inside that had a football player of the time inside. Look how excited he is. He's really 2000s excited. Mmm. It's like Sabutio, but different. Anyway, there was a way to play the game, but um, nobody I ever knew who collected these things, including myself, had any bloody idea how to play. And trust me, nothing has changed. Seriously, nobody knows how to play. But yes, as seen on TV, yes, they had a very annoying advert. It was like... Um, Football crazy, chocolate mad, grab a soccer pod and get down with the lads. That's the version I remember. Um, but here's the actual commercial from um, television, as I was able to find. Football crazy, football mad, grab a Michael Star, play football with the lads. There's Rooney, Drop and Messi, who will you select? Play the game and swap them, there's 40 to collect. Football crazy. Football Micro stars, world stars, out now. Notice how it doesn't mention chocolate. I think that's a later advert because they're still apparently making these. But yes, we have the microdome. Uh, we can look. We see you get footballers. I don't know who any of these people are. I know who Autoglass is. I think that's Michael Owen, and that's Boldman McBoldington. Uh, now, where's the evidence I was talking? Here we go. Notice he's got a Dreamcast shirt on. That Dreamcast sponsor, and I looked this up, whoever this horrifying person is, uh, was in 2001. So this set is at least, at least at the earliest from 2001, which is interesting unless they're doing like shirts from a long period ago. Look, he's a man. The, most of these footballers don't play football anymore. Roll. Hello, Roll. Oh, it's Shearer. I remember Shearer. But yes. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, 2003. There we go. There's actually a date on the bottom. Now, the interesting thing is the actual microdame is down here because the charity shop had the thing separate. So there's something else inside the box, which I'm going to find out because I have no idea. Um, uh, a stadium, a carry case, 22 micro stars, eight exclusive micro stars, World Cup League rules and WCL tournament pitch. I seriously hope there's a set of instructions because nobody I ever knew knew how to play this game. Nobody knew how to play the game. Um, and I'd like to know. It's one of those things that I'd just like to know how to play the damn game because it's been genuinely years. Ah, oh, there's instructions on the back. Before we open it up. Ah. Get ready to put your squad to the ultimate test in the WCL. The MicroStars Microdome takes the World Cup League matches to new heights with 16 moves in each half to beat your opponent. You're going to need to use all your skills of the battle and one-on-one -on -one to create goal-scoring chances. Microdome is a case you can take to blah blah blah. Set comes with 10 to 2 MicroStars, ready to play, exclusive goal base. You always wanted goal base. I traded a goal base MicroStar, which I'm going to call SoccerPod, back in the day for £5 and, and an N64 Game Shark, which I still have. Seriously, that's how good golds were to have. Um, some of the instructions nobody cares about. A website, which I think is still operational. Mmm. Mmm. These are the exclusive ones that you'd get. All these people that I don't know who any of them are. He looks familiar. I am a foosball fan. Oh, God. Right, so looking inside, it appears we have... Um, pretty much the stadium interior and nothing else. So I'm going to leave that for a moment. What? 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 I'm, I'm just going to put that down here for a moment. Let's have a look in the carrying case. 
So here we go, it's the Micro Dome, where you can see how much I paid for it. You already know how much I paid for it. I paid quite a lot of money for it. This is one of my more expensive videos that hasn't come off eBay. Micro Dome is a carry case. There's dudes inside. I don't know what's inside. I just knocked the camera. It's all going well. Hello, Pidge. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Okay, you go away. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> Holy moly, look at all them. Bloody hell's teeth. And they're the, oh, they're the old ones as well. Bloody hell, well, I want to know what this is. Oh, the, of all the things inside, this is what draws my attention. It's a case. It's um, made in China. It appears to be, oh, God, it's like a weird pair of binoculars. It's, 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 it's like a weird pair of dirty binoculars for a football fan. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I can't believe how many figures are in here. Yeah, that is literally a pair of binoculars. But I can't, I just, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, I cannot believe how many figures are in here. I'm genuinely excited. I don't know why, because I hated these things. Look, it's um, Ibramanov. He's a football player for a football team. Oh my gosh, I was expecting like 18 figures and some to be lost, but obviously... Somebody enjoyed. Look, it's Zeke. He's silver. Look, it's 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 Aldranic, and he's gold. And they have a thing on the bottom. Hmm. Uh, this one's uh, two thousand and four. Wow. There are an awful lot more figures here than I thought. I know I've said that a lot. There has to be a sensible way to go about this, and we're about to find out what it is. Well, uh, I, I was putting them on here, but there's too many. There's still. Loads, loads of the gits down here. I was meant to count how many it was before we started. Oh dear. 134. There's a hundred of 34 of them. And we're not looking at everyone. I figured we'd look at the gold ones because they're up there and there's a good chunk of them. But I just wanted to show you this guy. I didn't even look at what his name was. Autofocus, please. What's your name? It's Davids. Hello, I'm Davids. And I wear me some goggles. Yes. If you look on the bottom... Ah, 2001 copyright. These are about the right sort of years that I remember because I left school in 2006 and I remember buying these in school. Both uh, more so secondary school than my final one. But they have a score on the bottom. That's obviously something to do with the game. What we're going to do is we're going to look at these figures or at least we're going to look at the gold ones or maybe even just the silver ones because there's a lot of them, obviously. And then we're going to look at the stadium and then we're going to see if we can figure out how the hell to play the game. So, uh... I'm just going to grab a handful of these dudes. Ooh. Of course, we've got to start with a legend, and the only one that I actually recognise straight away, it's Michael Owen. I watched him score a goal once against them, their German people. He was very good. Now, if you look, obviously gold is better than, uh, it's a green. 21 shoot to 16. 14 pass to 20. 5 tackle to 14. 21 dribble to 21 dribble. And 21 cross to 17. Hmm. Yes. So if these two were to go in a head-on fight... Ah! And then he'd dribble better as well. Michael Owen is drooling. So we've got Michael Owen. Who's this chap? Rays. Don't know who he plays for. Can't make him out. They have these very stylized heads. They're kind of big. Very blind baggy type things. I can't believe how many of these damn things there are. Cafu. Hello, Cafu. You're being sponsored by Opal, which isn't right because it should be Voxor. Now, this, I think, is one of the um, exclusive ones available in the pack. It's, it's Bar Barthrez who just doesn't want to focus. So I think I'm just going to set to focus on here so I can just bring them straight up to look. Yes, he's very pretty. Now, as a goalkeeper, he has save shot to left, save shot to right. Mmm, so he can choose shots to save. Then we have this chap. He's very smiling. His name is Kaka. Hello, Kaka. I wanted to show you another one as well. So that's Kaka. We're going to interrupt to look at this guy because just look at him. Hey, I want to sleep with your sister. My name is Zolar. I'm going to sleep with your sister. And there's nothing you can do because I'm a football star. Wee! Don't know what the difference between like blue and white and red is. So we'll pull those ones aside as well and have a look at those later. Uh, and silver, of course, as well. We've got this chap. This is uh, Ru Costa. Ru Costa. Rai Costa. Costa Man. As football fans, if they're watching this, are going to absolutely hate me because I'm butchering all of these names and throwing their favourite footballers from 2002 around. God, that was a long time ago. Oh, oh, it's Drogba. Drogba still plays. Bally heck. Wait, who's, who's he playing for? I ain't got the foggiest, but he's still playing. 2004, yeah, Drogba still plays. I recognise another footballer, and he's actually a damn good footballer as well. Uh, Larson. 
Hello, my name is Larson. Have some NTL home digital TV. I don't know if NTL exists anymore. It did when I was a boy. Whoa, <laughs> football we. <laughs> Sorry. Christy. Hello, my name's Christy, and I play for Dialophone FC with my facial hair and my eyeballs and my arm in the air. Penalty. I've got 21 shoot. I'm not as good as Michael Owen. And we've also got Totty. Hello, Totty. You play for Mazda. Actually, I think you play for West Ham. I don't know. I don't. The Totty name, Totty, does sound familiar, though. Uh, it's Faraluzi, Paruzzi, and he's another goalkeeper. Same stats as the other goalkeeper we had, actually. Probably shouldn't be throwing these around. And this guy who just looks sad. He's like, oh, I'm gold, but I'm just not that good. I can't help it. My name is Petit. Hmm, not bad, though. Pass and shoot's pretty good. Ooh, yes, look at that focus. Right, so uh, let's pull a silver one. Let's have this guy. Hello, my name is Bartson. Yeah, and I play for Carlin FC. Can you tell? Best football team in the world. You can tell by the lack of hair. Right, oh, yeah, we, we were going to do a comparison, weren't we? So we're going to try and figure out who is the best. Oh, it came with a football as well. A very worn football that's probably been used quite a lot. So gold is obviously going to be the best. Oh, it's Christy again. White. Let's go by um, shot, because obviously they're all going to have their, where they're supposed to be as well. But I don't actually know any of them. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God, hold on. It's that Beckham lad. It's that Beckham lad. Look at him. Ha. Huh. Is White international then? I don't know. But he has very good stats. 21-14-19-21-14. A blue. 13-18-9-14-11. White appears to be very, very good. 16-12-16-14-15. God, White might be might, might be another version of gold, actually, looking at it. 21-20-21-21-14. Silver is 17, 30, 20, 16, 19. And red, 17, 11, 17, 15, 17. Yes. Okay, so it appears that white is actually mm, fairly solid as well. Maybe it's international plays. Anyway, um, let's now... I know I've got this all set up quite nicely, but uh, we do have to do a very satisfying thing, which is... All your careers are over. All of your careers have ended. You must now get off the box. Yes, and we'll get rid of that as well, because that's got my address on it, and we'll get rid of that. Incidentally, Sega! Right, let's uh, have a look in the box. Hello, Pidge. That's the inside of the box. So we've got this board that I can't describe. It's got a board for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, and then numbers, so it's a grid space. This is obviously going to be a kind of grid space game where you've got a player in a certain area and things happen and oh god that's confusing uh, anyway we actually appear to have a set of instructions or at least we've got some cardboard we've got some plastic we've got some plastic we've got some plastic we've got some not plastic and plastic we have a set of instruction menu power pods that was it bally power pods Grab a power pod. I don't, I don't bloody know. We've got whatever this is, which is, uh, whatever. A couple of goals. Got these, and according to the bottom of the box, I won a billion ants. I'm going to assume that he won all of these. So, let's have a look at the instructions. Ah, there, there's, there's a tear. Okay. The power is in your hands. Each microstar is not only a great collectible figure of one of the top players, but also comes with a skill rating, which allow you to play games with them and compete with your mates. The skill ratings are printed under the base. Yep, we looked at those. Each outfit, outfit a player has a five skill rating printed on the base. You can use these ratings to play the trading game one-to-one. -one. Once you know your player's ratings, you will be able to play much better in the Microdome WC matches. So this is the thing. I never saw this as a kid, incidentally. I was really interested in these, and I never saw these. So, you know, we have the base. So it's green, red, blue, white, silver, gold is the best. Uh, base colors, blah, blah, blah. Goalkeepers, save up left and right. That's fair enough. Uh, skill rating. Compete with your mates. Yep, they were completed regularly. They were released regularly. Don't know what that is. 
you know by if you know the real players, you already have a good idea about which players have high and low ratings for each skill. The rule defenders have the highest tackle rating. Midfielders are good in the tackle. Have the giant pass. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, top ten plates. The bigger your squad, the better your options. Well, I tell you what, we ain't bloody. We're, we're kind of spoiled for choice there. Let's be fair. Anyway, uh, look for the rarer base colours. Yeah, we're spoiled of those as well. Uh, three, get a balanced squad, including defenders, midfielders, and strikers, and a goalie. Learn your squad rating and precisely... Okay, so these are tips and trips. Uh, okay. Rules of play. Okay, there's actually quite a lot to read here, so I'm going to pause and do some reading. I was meant to be playing Blooming Elite Dangerous. I've just brought a new Thrustmaster thing, and instead I'm playing with a toy that I abandoned nearly 20 years ago. God, my life is great. Whilst reading through these rules, I noted David James, who's out of focus because the autofocus isn't on. Hello, David James. This is the goalkeeper who played for England and famously managed to let the ball bounce over his fault, foot and Greece beat us. Well done, David James. You're a green base. OK, I think I have the basics of this game down, and it might be simpler than I'm giving it than I think. So the idea is... Um, here, which you can't see, there are a selection of moves. There's 60 moves per turn, uh, and you basically find move one on your turn. So if you're kicking off, move one in this case is tackle. So let's just say, you know, you've got your, your micro stars here, and I don't know, these are your stars, and they're all playing against each other, because this is amazing, this game. So let's say this side is one. The first move, which is move one listed here, is tackle. So you pick a micro star and choose the tackle function. So I'm going to pick this dude, and he's, this guy's going to pick this dude. So then you compare the rating. So whoever has a higher tackle, this guy has 17. I'm just going to turn the autofocus on. This guy has 17, and this guy has 16. So this guy is lost, and this guy wins. So this guy remains, I don't know, where he's meant to be. And then this guy moves to a listed. That's a kickoff. Move to, it moves to K6. So we find six on here and K. So now he's moved there. And then let's say he moves the next one, 4E, I don't know, in the next turn. I, I, I don't know how many times he can do this. I, I really don't. <laughs> it, it's confusing because uh, is, that, is, that, is that where the ball goes? Does this have anything to do with it? I mean, it's got the, it's the MicroStars power shot, so it must have something to do with it and that ball. And, um, oh gosh, these... It's really not as as easy as our oh, kind of pick up as it is, you know. I mean, here are the instructions. If uh, but, but, but kick off, the manager kicking off looks at the start move one box on his own end of the pitch and picks one micro star to try and win the skill challenge. We did that. The defending manager then picks one. We did that. Neither manager is allowed to look under the bases. We did that. Manager then compares the skill given to the start move box, the skill rating on the base of each micro star, etc. And that, you know, that's fair enough, we did that. Mike Star with the highest rating wins the challenge. If the ratings are the same, the attacking manager wins the challenge. Cool. So, that, you know, that, so he's done that. It doesn't tell you to move that thing. The manager kicking off, uh, if the attacking manager wins the challenge, the winning Mike Star is placed on the start move box and then move goes forward on the next move box given in the white square on the start move box. Okay, so so he's he's now dead, okay? He's physically dead. He died a horrible fire. A horrible, deathly killer fire. Pidge is really impressed with this game. And we should really just get a giant pigeon out to kill all these things. <laughs> okay, so both managers then pick a new microstar without looking into the base play. If the attacking manager wins again, he she leaves the winning microstar on the move box just as it goes forward. Okay. So now I am still on turn one, so it's it's tackle again. So now this guy is going to tackle against this guy. So we've got, um, who is this guy? This is Onchanada. So this guy's tackle is, oh, it's 11. And this guy's tackle is four. So he's one again, right? So now he's dead. Like, he's physically died. Oh, it was Owen again. We've got a gold Owen and we've got a red Owen. Hello, red Owen. He's big. He's red. His feet stick out the bed. It's Crouch, who didn't play football at this point, if I recall correctly. So now it moves forward. Is that what it does? Uh, both managers 
The attacking manager wins again. Hinshi leaves the winning microstar on the move box just played and goes forward to the next move box shown in the white square. So, just played. The attacking manager wins again. He, she leaves the winning microstar on the move box just played and goes forward to the next move box shown in the white square, which is the next move is 4E. So, or E4 rather, so E, so he actually goes back. I'm going to assume players are meant to start back here. It's really not self-explanatory. Hang on a minute, there's a ball here. The ball can be kicked around. Is the ball being kicked? Move 1 to H20, move 2 to D16, move 3. You know, for a kid's game, this was confusing. You know, I, I, I can believe, I can understand why, you know, I never knew anybody who actually owned this thing or played the game. They just sort of collected the figures because, gosh, darn be darn it, that's confusing. Um, this is a little stadium set up. Which I suppose is kind of nice, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not going to build it because sob that. Uh, cardboard. Plastic. Yes, look at these, aren't they wonderful? Yeah. Um, one day, I will sit down and actually study this properly. I will sit and I will study and I will learn how to play the game. And I will drag a friend along and we will play a game of this and it will be the biggest most catastrophic mess you've ever seen on youtube with all of the hand motions to prove what i'm saying is entirely true but all in all um yeah all in all i actually have really fond memories of these you know i, I brought loads of these the intention was that i was going to give this away to somebody i'm uh, you know i'm giving a lot of stuff away right now um, I've just got to sort that out. I was going to give it away, but I'm not actually going to do that now. I'm going to keep this. Oh, well, what does this do? Go, let's you. But yeah, no, as I said, um, this is all actually really good memories for me. I'm actually pleased to have the whole set thing, even though I have no idea how to use it. There's a hell of a lot more figures in here. Um, I'm going to keep this. It's going to be good. I'm going to learn how to play it one day and I'm going to play it with somebody and we're going to regret our life choices. But yeah. If you remember these, and especially if you remember the original adverts when they were in chocolate, you know, uh, grab a soccer pod, uh, football crazy chocolate, mad. If you remember that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about it. Tell me about your experiences with these things. Because I can't be the only person now reaching their 30s that remembers these bloody things. And I say reaching my 30s, I'm already 31. Yay, YouTube. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, Hello, Pidge. How you doing? Hiya. Yay. Hello, Pidge. You're all right. We'll put your pants on and let you out. Bye, everybody. Have a lovely day.